In this video, we'll look at whether C3H8O is polar or nonpolar. This is isopropyl alcohol. So we have this structure here, and we have carbons here, here, and here. So C3, there would be hydrogens around here. We have a hydrogen up here, and then our oxygen. And right away, we can tell we have this oxygen, which is very electronegative, attached to the hydrogen, which is less electronegative, and then a carbon. So because we have this very big difference in electronegativity, we're thinking this is going to be a polar molecule. Let's look at it in three dimensions, though. So this is our isopropyl alcohol molecule here. We have the three carbons, C3, and then the whites are the hydrogen, H8, the O, that's the oxygen in red. If we looked at the molecular surface in terms of charge, let's do that. So we can see this red area, that's very electronegative. The blue is positive. You turn it on the side, we can see the hydrogen that has the positive and the red negative. So because we have these poles, the red's very negative, we have blue is positive, and a little bit of blue down here. This is definitely a polar molecule. And that's due to the electronegativity difference between that oxygen and the hydrogen and then the carbons here. This is Dr. B answering the question whether C3H8O is polar or nonpolar. It is a polar molecule. Thanks for watching.